Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valencia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, June 6, 2022. I hope you enjoyed your amazing weekend. Now let's start off the week with a relaxing braid break. Sitting comfortably. Just beginning with a nice big deep breath. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So eyes open, a soft focus. As you breathe out, you can allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. But just keep the eyes open for a moment. Just focusing in on one particular object within your field of vision. Now let's go off to word of the day. Hey Amalia, did you enjoy the bubble experiment we did today? Oh yeah, it was so fun looking through the transparent bubbles. Oh yeah, I thought it was so cool being able to see through the bubbles. I can't wait to do that experiment again. Yup, it's not every day you get to see through some bubbles. See, see you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word, Word of the, the day. day. Now let's go to Angeli for the sports highlights. Thanks Valencia. Sports fans, remember those remote control cars you got for Christmas? Well, they just got bigger. In Indiana, not only can cars drive by themselves, but they can race too. Nine teams of university students participated in a self-driving car race. They tested sensors, radars, cameras, and other cool gadgets to make an awesome speedy machine. TUM Autonomous Motorsport from Munich won a grand prize of $1 million after they rode 136 miles per hour to victory. Maybe one day we'll see racers racing against computer cars. Now, let's go to Joshua to see what's cooking. Thank you, Angeli. Today's lunch sure is delicious. Crunchy chicken tenders, broccoli, orange juice, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teacher know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now, let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Joshua. That sounds delicious. Patriots, today is movie day. You'll be able to watch a movie in every class. I hope I watch a good one. I can't wait. Girls volleyball tryouts will be held in the gym on August 10th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And boys flag football will be held in the gym on August 11th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Good luck and don't forget to try your best. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today you can expect a nice 90 degrees with scattered thunderstorms. It's hurricane season, Patriots, so make sure to get ready. In other weather news, summer is right around the corner. And in summer, it means heat. In Florida, temperatures can easily get to 103 to 110 degrees during the summer. Today, we wanted to talk about how quickly the interior of your car gets dangerously hot in only 10 minutes. Temperatures can rise up to 20 degrees. And even on a cool 80 degrees day, temperatures can hit 109 degrees within 20 minutes. And in one hour, it can reach 123 degrees. Go. Now let's go to Destiny and Chanel for this year's final Hot Topic. Hey Patriots. Welcome to Hot, hot topic, topic End of the Year Edition. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Today is the day to show off your awesome yo-yo skills. Today is National Yo-Yo Day. You can try all kinds of tricks like the sleeper, walk the dog, and around the world. That sounds like some awesome tricks. Big news for SNL lovers. Pete Davidson, Kate McKinnon, A.D. Bryant, and Kyle Mooney are all deciding to leave SNL. The loyal members have finally decided to hop off the show after about eight years. Pete Davis's was my favorite. Only three days left, Patriots. Summer break is coming faster than we expected. Make sure you purchase lots of sunscreen and get ready and get your bathing suits ready. I can't wait. You know, I am going to miss this. How about you? Absolutely. I'll always cherish the good times with Hot Topic. Yeah. Hope you enjoy your last days, Patriots. And the summer ahead. 
But don't worry, Patriots. We'll see you next year on Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. Bye. Thank you, Destiny and Chanel. Today's birthday boy is Joniel Valadon. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thank you, Peyton. And I wish you a happy birthday, Patriots. Scholar, hear your POTS expectations. Zero present. Present yourself positively. Act kindly towards others. Treat the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Now for Friday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Onley, Miss Samuel, Miss Noonan, Miss Ayam Dinkwa, Miss Stone, Miss Cavalita, and Miss Pardinas. You all had the correct answer to Friday's trivia question, which was, What is the name of Harry Potter's pet owl? The correct answer is Hedwig. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmo.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a marvelous Monday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!